Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could do a monochromatic look with the new Patrick Ta lipstick that I picked up. It's not like new new, it's just new to me. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and also turn on the bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a brand new video, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to do my base and everything off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put my foundation on. Today I used the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. And then my concealer, I mixed the Good Apple and the Hourglass concealers. Just because I like the way that that finish looks. Now because I'm wanting to do it monochromatic, I want to take the lipstick and actually use it as my liquid blush. Um, so this, this should be fun. I didn't set my face yet, I just set like right underneath my eyes so it wouldn't crease like crazy. But, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start like back here. That might even be too much. I'm stamping, but as I touch down, I'm dra like slightly tugging down a little. I'm not like rubbing or anything too hard because I definitely don't want to move my base underneath. I'm trying to take it slow. So I definitely don't want to fuck up, you know, and add way too much way too quick. Even like bringing it towards the apples with like whatever's left over on the sponge. It's a very pretty blush. I hope it's showing up because like I know I'm kind of like really dewy right now. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit more. So I want it to be pretty impactful. I'm not going to use bronzer today just because I don't really feel like, I don't know, I haven't really been into bronzer lately. I guess it also depends on what look I'm doing. And whether or not I feel like it like meshes well, you know? Okay, that's very pretty. I hope it's picking up on camera as it is in person. Because it's actually working very well as a blush. Not that I expected it not to, but sometimes it doesn't work out too swell. for a second that I added too much but it, it looks like it's blending in pretty decent. The good thing about doing it like this though is that if it does get too heavy, if I do get too heavy handed, um, I can always just grab some of my foundation and thin it out. It will also lose some of its punch when I add setting powder. So I have to keep that in mind too. Definitely bringing it in like that. I'm going to add a little bit more to this side to even it out. I love monochromatic looks, but I don't do them hardly at all. I don't really know why, to be honest with you. They're probably like one of the easiest makeup looks to do. I just don't ever do it. Yeah. And then I'm going to take like the residue that's on my sponge if there's enough and tap it on the bottom of my nose but it doesn't look like there is so I'm just going to boop it and then blend. My nose which if you're not a new viewer you know has issues Anytime I do anything to it, it always loses its pigment, or not pigment, but like the foundation rubs off. So I try to be like extra gentle when it comes to my nose. Okay, that looks really good. I might add some like powder blush or something up towards this area if I can find one that like matches. But for now, that's a good base. Okay, so what I'm 
thinking is I think I'm going to look through my eyeshadows and even my blushes and stuff like that to see if I have anything this color. If not, then I'm just going to smack this thing on my eye. That sounded very bad. <laughs> I'm going to put it on my eyes. Okay, so I swatched the lipstick, which is the smaller swatch, and then next to it I swatched um, Heart On by Jaclyn X Morphe, the volume 2 one. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lipstick as a base on my eyelid and try to be gentle with that. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to use the Heart On if needed to like set it and like blend it out. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lipstick and I'm going to rub it on the back of my hand. Get a good bit of the pigment there. I'm going to take my middle finger, pick up some of the pigment, and I'm going to start placing that on my lid. Pretty good for now. Now I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow. I'm just a uh, M433, like a big or not big, but like a blender brush. Tap off my brush. I'm gonna start setting it, and then I'll work my way up to blend. Okay, then just taking a M441 with my translucent powder and going over the edges. looking real good okay so I think next step will be to set my face yeah I'm gonna go through and set my face and then I'll be right back to continue the uh, monochrome okay so I set my face did my brows and sprayed my Desi spray on my face now we can do our lips I was thinking of trying to find a lip liner to match but like I don't have many red lip liners. Yeah, that one runs blue. So is that one. I think I only have two red lip liners and I don't know that any of them none of them match. Neither one matches. Um okay, so I guess I'm gonna try to not use one. We already know I'm not very good with my lips anyway, so Feel like I should be blotting it out, you know? Kind of like a blotted lip look. Okay, so what I did was I took a little bit of micellar water on a like a towel or whatever and went around the edges and took some of it off. That's what, probably why I like 
it looks like this. Um, and then, like, of course, I went, like, back over if I needed to with any, like, foundation or whatever to fix it. It looks a lot better, especially in comparison. I'm not done, by the way. I know I'm talking like I'm done, but I'm not done. <laughs> I am going to leave it like this so it can be, like, one of those, like, blotted popsicle mouth looks. I'm going to take my lifter gloss from Maybelline and... I think it's just called ice and I'm gonna top over this to help blend out the edges a little bit more okay, now that we have that on one more thing I'm gonna take my towel and have the edges because like I don't want it to be like crazy glossy either okay so now that we have it looking like this I don't feel like I need any more blush as far as how I was talking about I might add like a powder blush later part of me wants to add a uh, rhinestones so I might do that <laughs> you know a lot of the looks that I've been doing lately my friends keep telling me <laughs> look like euphoria looks and I haven't watched it so I should probably watch it to know what they're talking about but also so like I can be like hey this was inspired by euphoria even though it wasn't um I'm sure it's good for clicks no, I mean just saying I don't really think I have a rhyme or reason as to why I'm going to put the rhinestones where I'm going to put them. I think I'm just going to scatter them. That's what I'm missing is highlight. Jaclyn Flash Palette. And I guess again because we are leaning more pinky toned I'm going to use Mesmerize. I'm also going to take a little bit of this and pop it in the inner corner of my eye. Just to give that area a little bit more life. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use my other finger. Okay, now I'm going to do the rhinestones. When I do rhinestones, I just use glass glue. I also have a kit of rhinestones. Let me pull it up. Hopefully you can see that. But like I have a bunch of different sizes and it also, oh, don't drop it. I also have one of these like little pins that helps you pick it up. Why oh, does my phone never recognize me when I have makeup on? Put a little bit of glue on the back of my hand. I'm going to use the like metal ballpoint side to pick up the glue and we're just going to start placing. I'm going to do a small one here. I like it like that. Actually doesn't take long to do rhinestones. I definitely recommend getting like one of these little stylus things and um, just using your lash glue or whatever which I think is like the normal way to do it. I picked up my rhinestones. This close. Why are you not closing? Picked up the rhinestones, this little stylus, and the like sorting case that I had my rhinestones in on Amazon, and it was like super cheap. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go off camera, do my lashes, and 
fix my hair up a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the finished look for the lashes. I actually ended up dabbling into these um, Ilor London Faux Pro Lux Lash Extension Kit. It's a long ass name. Um, but it comes with a whole kit. It comes with the bond and the seal. These little like applicator things instructions and then it also had like these little things with the lashes on them and I tried to do my best but like I've never used anything like these before or anything underneath my lash my, like my lashes like that before but I think they turned out pretty cute for the most part um we're just not gonna look too deep at them and as far as my hair I curled it before I started filming and then just like you know, messed it up. Also attempted a second TikTok, so hopefully that one <laughs> looks pretty good. Um, let me know down below what you think, if you watch it, or if you're even on TikTok. But yeah guys, this is the final look, the final monochromatic, you could even call it Euphoria inspired look. Uh, I swear I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> I know I need to. I absolutely love it. The formula of this lipstick is actually really cool. I liked that I could use it, say, like, on top of my wet foundation as a blush without messing up my foundation. It worked on my lids really well. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no... Ugh. The fuck was that? As far as I can tell, there's no, like, creasing or anything on my eyelid, but of course I did, like, set it with an eyeshadow. Yeah. I mean, if you want to spend however much this was, I think it was like 30 bucks on a lipstick, I definitely recommend it. It's a very beautiful color. And like I said, when I picked it up, I went around the store and I swatched it on my hand. And then went around the store and kept swatching other lipsticks on my hand and couldn't find one that matched it. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful one. I didn't even tell you guys what shade I used. It's, uh, She's Not From Here. Which is the whole reason why on my TikTok... <laughs> I use the Mean Girls sound. I know it's old school, old news, whatever. Nobody's using that sound anymore, but I felt like it was fitting for this look. I'm trying to make sure I keep it off of my teeth because that's my biggest issue right now I've been having is getting lipstick all over my teeth and not noticing until like the very end of the video. But yeah, guys, don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and also turn on the bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And thank you guys so very much for watching. Bye.